the top 10, uh, I mean 20, craziest things said by Donald Trump. We all know Donald Trump is a serial liar, and we all know that he says plenty of morally terrible things, but he says way too many things that are absolutely crazy for a mere top 10. Don't believe me? Let's review the top 20 craziest things said by Donald Trump. Number 20. Promising Russia would never annex Crimea two years after they did. He's not going into Ukraine, okay? Just so you understand, he's not going into Ukraine, alright? You can mark it down. You can put it down. You can take it anywhere you want. Okay, well, he's there in a certain way, but I'm not there. You have Obama there. Number 19. His feelings increase his net worth. This is from Trump's deposition in a 2007 lawsuit against Warner Books. He's being questioned by lawyer Andrew Karezny. Trump. My net worth fluctuates and it goes up and down with the markets and with attitudes and with feelings, even my own feelings, but I try. Karezny. Let me just understand that a little. You said your net worth goes up and down based upon your own feelings? Trump. Yes, even my own feelings as to where the world is, where the world is going, and that can change rapidly from day to day. Karezny. When you publicly state a net worth number, what do you base that number on? Trump. I would say it's my general attitude at the time that the question may be asked, and as I say, it varies. Number 18. Photo ID is required to buy anything. If you go out and you want to buy groceries, you need a picture on a card. You need ID. You go out and you want to buy anything. You need ID and you need your picture. You have ID to buy a loaf of bread. You have ID to buy a loaf of bread. You have everything. Number 17. Clean coal technology is just washing lumps of coal. A second brand new coal mine where they're going to take out clean coal, meaning they're taking out coal, they're going to clean it, is opening in the state of Pennsylvania. Number 16. Cows should climb ladders over the border wall. Miles Taylor, Trump's former chief of staff at the Department of Homeland Security, wrote that Trump once ranted that cattle should not be herded through gates in the border wall to graze at the Rio Grande. Trump wanted the cattle to climb ladders over the wall instead. No doors. I don't want doors. How crazy is this? There are doors in the border wall. It's stupid. They can just walk up, open the door, and thousands of illegals rush in. Give the ranchers ladders. They can use ladders to get to the other side, but not doors. You could use small fire trucks, call the local fire stations, and use the ladders on their trucks to help them get over. Number 15. The F-35 is invisible. You like the F-35? You can't see it. It wins every time because the enemy cannot see it. Even if it's right next to it, it can't see it. Number 14. He thinks Jeb Bush started the Iraq War. When I came here, everyone thought Bush was going to win because Bush was supposedly a military person. He got us into the, uh, he got us into the Middle East. How did that work out, right? Number 13. He beat Barack Obama in the 2016 general election. With Obama, we won an election that everyone said couldn't be won. And then we beat Barack Hussein Obama. Number 12. Japan quality checks American cars with bowling balls. It's called the bowling ball test. They take a bowling ball from 20 feet up in the air and drop it on the hood of the car. If the hood dents, the car doesn't qualify. It's horrible. Number 11. Congratulating Poland for being conquered by the Nazis. Reporter. Do you have a message for Poland on the 80th anniversary of World War II? Trump. I do have a great message for Poland, and we have Mike Pence, our vice president, is just about landing right now. I just want to congratulate Poland. Number 10. Airplanes are too complicated to fly. Airplanes are becoming far too complex to fly. 
pilots are no longer needed, but rather computer scientists from MIT. I don't know about you, but I don't want Albert Einstein to be my pilot. Number 9. Toilets take 15 tries to flush. We have a situation where we're looking very strongly at sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms where you turn the faucet on. You turn on the faucet and you don't get any water. They take a shower and water comes dripping out, just dripping out, very quietly dripping out. People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, as opposed to once. Number 8. Rising stock prices decrease the national debt. The country, we took it over and owed over $20 trillion. So they borrowed more than $10 trillion, right? And yet we picked up $5.2 trillion just in the stock market. I possibly picked up the whole thing in terms of the first nine months in terms of value. So you could say in one sense, we're really increasing values. And maybe in a sense, we're reducing debt. But we're very honored by it. Number 7. The government bans water from sinks, showers, and dishwashers. They come out with faucets where no water comes out. You know, if you go and buy a home, and they know what I mean, the showers. You stand under a shower, and there's no water coming. And you end up standing there five times longer. So in Ohio, you have this great company that came to me, a dishwasher company, one of the biggest and finest companies, but they were going out of business. They said, we're not allowed to use water. Number six, the Continental Army took over airports in the American Revolution. The Continental Army suffered the bitter winter of Valley Forge. Our army manned the air. It rammed the ramparts. It took over the airports. It did everything it had to do. Number five, Beverly Hills regulates toothbrushing to once per day. And it's true. In Beverly Hills, you pay a fortune in taxes. They say you can only brush your teeth once a day. Number four, magnetic elevators are bad because they fail underwater. When the magnetic elevators, think of it, magnets. Now all I know about magnets is this. Give me a glass of water. Let me drop it on the magnets. That's the end of the magnets. Number three, he personally coined many words and phrases like fake. I think one of the greatest of all terms I've come up with is fake. I guess other people have used it perhaps over the years, but I've never noticed it. Priming the pump. Economist. Priming the pump? Trump. Yeah, have you heard of it? Economist. Yes. Trump. Have you heard that expression before? Because I haven't heard it. I mean, I just, I came up with it a couple of days ago, and I thought it was good. It's what you have to do. Caravans and fake news. You won't take these horrible convicts and other people that you released into our country illegally, and you put them in caravans. I came up with that term, by the way. That was my term. And fake news. And lots of other terms we came up with. Number two. Windmills are weapons of mass destruction. I never understood wind. You know, I know windmills very much. They're noisy. They kill the birds. You want to see a bird graveyard? Go under a windmill someday. You'll see more birds than you've ever seen in your life. Their windmills are causing whales to die in numbers never seen before. They're washing up ashore. Now they're coming up on a weekly basis. If you have a windmill anywhere near your house, congratulations. Your house just went down 75% of value, and they say the noise causes cancer. If you kill a bald eagle, they put you in jail for five years, but the windmills knock out thousands of them. Nothing happens. Before we reveal our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. The 1918 flu pandemic ended World War II. The closest thing is in 1917, they say, the Great Pandemic. It certainly was a terrible thing where they lost anywhere from 
50 to 100 million people probably ended the Second World War. Nuking hurricanes. I got it, I got it. Why don't we nuke them? They start forming off the coast of Africa, and as they're moving across the Atlantic, we drop a bomb inside the eye of the hurricane, and it disrupts it. Why can't we do that? He met with the president of the Virgin Islands. Note, he was the president of the Virgin Islands. I will tell you that I left Texas, and I left Florida, and I left Louisiana, and I went to Puerto Rico, and I met with the president of the Virgin Islands. Thinking Frederick Douglass is still alive. Frederick Douglass is an example of somebody who's done an amazing job, and is being recognized more and more, I notice. Electrocution is preferable to a shark attack. I said, let me ask you a question, and he said, nobody ever asked this question, and it must be because of MIT, my relationship with MIT, very smart. He goes, I say, what would happen if a boat sank from its weight, and you're in the boat, and you have this tremendously powerful battery, and the battery is now underwater, and there's a shark that's approximately 10 yards over there. Do I stand over by the boat and get electrocuted, or do I jump over by the shark? and not get electrocuted. I'll take electrocution every single time. I'm not getting near the shark. Obama let the military run out of ammo. When I took over our military, we didn't have ammunition. I was told by a top general, maybe the top of them all, Sir, I'm sorry, sir. We don't have ammunition. I said, I'll never let another president have that happen to him or her. We don't have ammunition. Number one, nonsensical COVID recommendations. Trump had some odd ideas to address the COVID-19 pandemic and to treat the disease itself. His do's and don'ts included, do let China handle it. China is working very, very hard. I have spoken to President Xi and they're working very hard. And if you know anything about him, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. They're getting it more and more under control, so I think that's a problem that's going to go away. Don't send ventilators to hospitals. I don't believe you need 40,000 or 30,000 ventilators. You go into major hospitals sometimes and they'll have two ventilators. Do let it disappear on its own. It's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle, it will disappear. Don't wear a mask. I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. Joe feels very safe in a mask. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want to expose his face. There's no reason for him to have masks on. Do take a flu vaccine. You take a solid flu vaccine? You don't think that could have an impact? Or much of an impact on corona? Don't test so much. I want to do what Mexico does. They don't give you a test till you get to the emergency room and you're vomiting. Do sit around or go to work. If we have thousands or hundreds of thousands of people that get better just by, you know, sitting around and even going to work. Do take hydroxychloroquine. I'm taking it, hydroxychloroquine, right now, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I started taking it because I think it's good. I've heard a lot of good stories. Do inject household disinfectant. I see the disinfectant that knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that by injection inside or almost a cleaning? As you see, it gets in the lungs. It does a tremendous number on the lungs. So it would be interesting to check that. Do tremendous light inside the body. So supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light, and I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're gonna test it. And then I said, supposing 
it brought the light inside the body which you can either do either through the skin or some other way do take Donald Trump's advice I really get it people are surprised that I understand it every one of these doctors said how do you know so much about this what's your favorite crazy Trump quote let us know in the comments. Be sure to like this video and subscribe, and check out the rest of our Top 10 Trump series.